guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And today I am at the bins. I am gonna go in there and see what I can find. Today is actually, this video is in collaboration with one of my good friends, The Thrifty Broad. Here is her information. Please go ahead and follow her on Instagram. I'll, and I'll link everything down below. Um, she has a YouTube channel, which she makes really good hauls. We actually go to the same bins. Um, I'm surprised I haven't really seen her here before. We must go at like on different days or something, but I thought this would be an interesting haul. I reached, or interesting collab. I reached out to her and asked if she wanted to do a um, collaboration video. So we're each gonna show um, like our favorite 25 items from the haul. Um, so I will show you guys the 25 items in this video and then um, I'll just do a separate haul for the rest of the stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Please go ahead and subscribe to her down below. I'll link everything, like I said, and let us know who you think won. So let's get into the haul. All right, so the bins were actually pretty bad. Um, Unfortunately, I was really hoping it was going to be like a good bins day, obviously, so that I could find a good amount of 25 items, but I think I got like just over 25 items, so I'm just going to show you everything I got. It was pretty rough, um, but luckily I still got 25 items. So anyways, <laughs> I bet Melissa had a better bins day. Let's hope. Um, all right, first item. And I recently actually sold like a very similar pair. These are Masuk Petite and they're a size extra large. So probably extra large petite. And they're just like a nice knit black pant. Um, I usually find basics from this brand, um, but you know, it really still does sell really well. So I'm really happy that I found those. Okay, next is a new to me brand that um, I guess is pretty expensive. Ah, trying to figure out where the, oh yeah. So the brand is called Grundens and this is a size extra small. And so I thought that was a hole, but it's actually like part of it. I think you put something through there. I'm not totally sure. But anyways, these are definitely men's. They're like a water resistant pant. Comps were like 60 for these, which is kind of insane. So, super happy that I found those and I, you know, learned a new brand. Okay, let's put my stuff here. <clears throat> Next item is this Theory blazer. This one's a size zero. Again, I think I've sold blazers that look just like this <laughs> Theory. This is just like a black basic blazer. Um, this one is, let's see, what is it? Okay, it says dry clean only, polyester, and wool. I thought it would have like some silk in it, but I guess not. Super cute. All right. Next is, okay, these are some of my favorite pieces. So, this is a Bowden jacket. This one's a size 12. I do believe this is like their, um, what is it? Like UK, UK size 12. So this might be like an eight or a 10 US. Really, really cute. This is like a striped, kind of reminds me of like nautical vibes. <laughs> striped um, jacket with like double breasted buttons. And the inside is like a nice red fabric. It's pretty thick. And I hope that sells well. I'm gonna have to try to find a stock photo. Okay, next, I believe this is like a bolo. Um, this is a beautiful dolman sleeve tunic. And it has like these little, um, what are these, pom-poms? On the sides, they're like little frills. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, apparently this is an anthropology brand. I had never heard of it. It is called... Z and L made in India. This is a size medium slash large and it is really expensive. Comps are like 70. I think it's better if you have a dress, but this is super nice. I love the like lemon print. 
Um, and the side, like the sleeves are like dolman. They're like hidden um, stitching. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna try to list this one high. I feel like this print is pretty, you know, unique. Um, and I really liked that. So uh, I forgot to ask Melissa, but um, if we were doing, including shoes, but I did get a couple pairs of shoes. So I'm gonna show those as well. Hopefully that counts. <laughs> All right, next is this Nike swim top. And this actually is new with tags. Um, I thought this was a sports bra, but then I read swim and I guess it's a bikini, but I'm sure you could wear it as a sports bra. It zips in the front, which I feel like is pretty popular right now. Um, this one's a size medium and it retailed for $56. That's a lot for this, but yeah. So I'm going to probably list around 25 for this. Super cute. All right. I'm going to show you the two pairs of shoes I got. They're not like the most exciting thing ever, but I was happy to find them. So the first pair are these Paul Green. These are like a leather strappy pump. I think these are called the Avery. And, and comps are like 50 to 60. So I think I listed these around 55. Um, they are really cute. You do have to remember like the size on the bottom is UK size. So it's a size four and these were, I listed them last night, I think a size six and a half US. So really, really cute. Happy to find those. Um, and then the other pair of shoes I got is a brand I always love to sell, Nayot. These are size Euro 40, so um, it says L9, like ladies nine. These are really cute. So they're like, I mean, they're not my style, but I think they're pretty cute. The upper is like a leather and yeah, they're just, they're in super good condition. I was really surprised. Oh, maybe that's dirt. <laughs> okay, I said that and then I see some dirt right here, but I'm sure I could just wipe that off with like a paper towel or something. So yeah, really excited to find that actually. All right, next, I'm just gonna pull some stuff out here and then show you. Next are these, these are a pair of cut from the cloth jeans, size 12, and these are also new with tags. Um, they're like a burgundy purple corduroy pant. They're super nice. Um, obviously new with tags is super nice. <laughs> these are the Diana Fab Ab Skinny High Rise. So I feel like that's a good style. I hope to list these around 35 to 40 and get somewhere around there. Uh, I love selling cut from the cloth and new with tags is always a plus. Okay, believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever found this brand. This is called Blanky and I'm sure you guys are like, oh my God, obviously, but I have never found it. Size small. These are um, maternity leggings. So they're like super high, high waisted, high rise, high waisted. Um, and they have like more room in the front for the belly. So yeah, I'm pretty sure these are really expensive. I believe they're sold maybe at Nordstrom, but I could be wrong. So again, it's my first time selling them. So I don't know too much. All right, next is Okay, this is pretty exciting. This is a Lululemon vest. I always find that Lululemon outerwear sells super well. Um, and of course, it's gonna be hard to find the size. Okay, there actually is an inside tag that says goose down. 90% goose down, 10% feathers. And I don't know like the size or anything. I'm guessing, uh, let's see, maybe it says in the pocket. Um, nope, not yet. I can't find the size, but I'm gonna say like a six or an eight. I will wash this just cause it's like a little bit yellow. Maybe that's part of it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wash that one and I'll have to do some further investigation on the size. All right, next, these are super cute. These are a pair of Zara size six jeans. 
they're like super cold because they were just in my car and it's completely just pouring snow outside right now so yeah it's cold but um these are super cute they're like a distressed rigid denim i love zara jeans these are so cute if these were my size i would totally wear them um maybe soon they'll be my size i'm actually like trying to lose a little bit of weight and trying to like get healthy so I'm not going to keep them, obviously, because that one might be a while till those fit me, but I wish they were my size. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, next are a pair of Joe's jeans. I don't always pick up Joe's jeans, but it kind of depends on the style. Um, I believe these are women's. So there's the tag, and they're like a street. Well, actually, they're my, kind of like, yeah, a boot cut. And they are a size 29, and they're the E in wash, and they are, the, uh, the style is called Honey. So, I do see, like, some dirt. I don't know if you guys see that. Is that a stain right there? It might be, like, a subtle stain. So, I'll just try to um, stain treat those. So, hopefully that comes out. If not, it's not a huge deal because the wash is pretty dark anyways, but... I'm going to try to get that out. Speaking of stains, this does have a couple like rust stains, but you guys, this retails for over $300. So this is the brand I'd never heard of it before. Monadic. And I could tell it was nice because the tag itself is suede. It's a size extra large. This is a men's brand and it's like a really nice thick jean jacket. So it's like kind of like a trucker style. I did find it on the website, so I'll have to figure out what it's called, but how cool. So I don't know comps, but I just like could kind of tell it was nice, especially because of the tag. 100% um, cotton sewn in Los Angeles, so that's a good sign. And yeah, so I am going, oh, I'll try to show you, yeah. I can't tell if that's like rust or like paint or something, but regardless, like I'm going to sell it even if I can't get it out because it's super expensive. So I was happy to find that new brand is always good. Put that laundry pile. All right. Next. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. There is another pair of shoes. I just remembered that's in this bag, um, but I, I'll show that in a second. All right, this is a Athleta size 38D. This is a um, swim top. It's super nice. This is like a white and black stripe and super cute. And it's like becoming that season. Well, I say that and there's just so much snow outside, but it is gonna be spring and summer soon. I feel like this type of stuff is gonna sell. Um, so there's that. I guess it's a 38D or double D. So, cute. This is just like a lot of bread and butter with a couple bolos in here, but this is so cute. My friend at the bins told me that I should list this for like 30. This is a vintage Oshkosh um, romper and it has all this like nautical, like super cute boat theme all over it so cute um yeah totally vintage she said that she sold a couple vintage oshkosh things like right away for like 25 to 30 so i'm gonna list around there so adorable i love that i love little baby clothes it's just so cute okay next i was actually kind of excited about this and i'll tell you why this is just made by anthropology but it's a size 12 which I feel like I never find anthropology sizes or anthropology pieces in like size 12. <laughs> so anyways, it's just really cute floral top. I really like the print first of all. And it has a cute elastic sleeve. So I feel like I usually find anthropology pieces in smaller sizes. So I was thrilled. Next is this is Flax, love selling this brand. This is a size small, 100% linen. 
so it's like very lagging look that's the style and it's like a green I don't think it's a dress it might be just like a tunic it's pretty long um, and it's this nice green color so yeah really cute I like that a lot so that should sell well next okay this is a pretty expensive brand actually um, I guess you could call it a bolo and we're kind of going out of this season but I couldn't resist this is the brand Bogner this is like very much a um, ski snowboarding brand this is a size 38 polyester I think it's like a European brand but anyways these are like a cool silver metallic -y pant they're actually really soft <laughs> um, and then yeah it's definitely, these are like snowboarding pants. Unfortunately, the grip part has some parts coming off, which I'll note. I don't think that'll affect the resale too bad, but I will still note that as a flaw. All right. This is also another brand. This is new to me. Unfortunately, there is a flaw, which I'll show you, um, but I thought it was worth it. So this is the brand Sabu or something, <laughs> however you say that. Um, size two and the back is held together here because it's missing a little button which I'm just gonna sew one on but this is a really expensive brand and I feel like this should do well it's very cute dress this gives me like free people vibes so yeah I thought it was cute comps were like 40 to 50 for something like this which I was pretty excited about so yeah um all right so just a couple more pieces next is this free people this is we the free pretty basic piece size extra small this one has a goodwill tag on it how much were they gonna ask 5.99 i guess that's not like the worst i wouldn't have paid 5.99 for this though um but yeah it's this cute like ombre shirt like a thermal and it's pretty basic but i thought that was cute and then this is a polo shirt i actually don't know this brand do i i feel like i've heard of this maybe i've even picked it up but i can't remember okay so it's y3 yoji yamamoto adidas have you guys heard of that size medium probably men's and it's just like a white th uh, polo with y3 i don't know what y3 means am i missing something you guys <laughs> let me know if you know what that means so yeah i don't know i think i've heard of this brand or i've maybe picked it up before i can't remember but i thought it was worth at least looking into all right i got one more clothing item and then i got a pair of shoes that maybe is the best item in this whole haul new to me brand too so pretty exciting this is just cabbie size 10 and it's like a really cute blazer pink pink blazer um i find that cabbie blazers sell super well and i liked the color the size is good size 10 so that is always a good find all right here is oh i'm sorry there's one more clothing piece this is a um Lauren Ralph Lauren size petite small shirt. It's just this, it's just pretty basic, but it was in really good condition. And it has like the little embroidery right here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's in really, really nice condition. So got that one too. All right, these are the shoes I'd never heard of before. And I guess they're kind of high end. So they look like this, pretty interesting. And the brand is Naked Wolf. So the upper is like a leather, kind of looks like Nike, but it's not. Um, it does need to be cleaned, obviously. Magic Racer too, but in general, they're in pretty good condition. And these sell for like $60 to $100. These are the pixie style. Um, size 37, so a seven, US seven. Um, upper leather, lining leather and textile. 
yeah i was so shocked about the comps on these i was like how have i never heard of this before <laughs> so yeah that is the entire haul um i'm really excited to watch melissa's video um we do go to the same bins so um not always i don't always go to that one location and i'm sure she doesn't only go to that one location but um that's where i went today or yesterday sorry i'm losing my mind so yeah um after you watch this video please go into my description and go watch her video and let us know who you think got better items or if you think it was a tie let us know um and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye